Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Atari Vault. Hey, guess what? We're going to be playing Centipede again. Isn't it wonderful when they basically repeat the same game three times? Okay, okay, one of those times is Millipede. But come on, <laughs> come on. What are the chances um, that this is not just going to be a mishmash of Centipede and Millipede? Maybe Millipede comes up later. We're, not, we're only in the seas. We've got... Probably 70 more games to go. I have no idea how many more games we have to go. Let's go and look at the manual. It's probably not going to be all that different. All right. The Enchanted Forest, of course, we get the backstory because, you know, there's a backstory to this game. Um, so we still have. Is this still the same backstory, by the way? Let's see. Hold on. Hold on. I need to just scroll over here. Okay. Enchanted Forest, leave the colony of good elves. No, no. This is totally different. Okay, these elves had a major problem though. Their prized mushroom garden was infested with pests, a giant centipede, a poison spreading scorpion, a mischief making spider, and a pesky flea. The good elves tried everything they could to rid this garden of the things, but nothing worked. One day, an elf named Oliver was hacking away at a poison mushroom in the garden. Suddenly, he saw an unusual stick gleaming in the dirt. Just as Oliver picked it up, picked up the stick, a soldier jumped out from behind a mushroom and rushed at him. When Oliver waved his hands wildly to scare the soldier, or no, the spider, not soldier. Ha ha! Spider makes far more sense. To scare the spider away, sparks flew from the stake and the spider disappeared. How did that happen? Oliver wondered aloud. Could this be a magic wand? Soon Oliver had another chance to try the wand when the scorpion scurried across a row of mushrooms, poisoning every mushroom it touched. Oliver pointed the wand at the scorpion and shouted, Be gone! Instantly, the scorpion disappeared and the poison mushroom were transported back to normal mushrooms. So really, the be gone was just him just, you know, making noise. You don't really need to see be gone. You just need to wave the wand. All right. It's a great the tool we need to clean up our mushroom garden. Oliver shouted ecstatically. With his newfound magic wand, Oliver hid behind a mushroom. Hey, Grippy Centipede, come out wherever you are. I'm ready for you now. Okay, so that's the that's the backstory. Basically, some lucky elf finds a magic wand just laying around in the forest. Where the hell does magic wand come from? My guess is that a wizard came along and saw that the enchanted forest was in trouble, right? So he tried to help out, but he died. And the reason why I think that is because, or no, this is just Oliver's actually one in a long, long line. Granted, the magic one had to start from somewhere. My guess is a wizard came by, died trying to defend the forest, and Oliver's another elf in a long, long line that finds this one in the forest, and then he dies. Um, the reason why I think that is because we're going to die an awful lot in this game. Um, the centipedes look like junk. I mean, compared to the arcade version, okay? And that's not fair. I'm just saying they just look like segments of bricks. The flea is some interesting pixel art there. Um, by interesting, I mean, what the hell is that? Um... <laughs> The mushrooms are red blocks, okay. Spider is a bunch of blue blocks. Scorpion is a bunch of red moving blocks. And the centipede is pink, purple, and blue, depending on what wave you're in. I didn't even realize you were in, okay, so they changed it to have waves. Either that or the arcade version, I never got far enough to actually have to worry about waves. I guess there were levels, kind of. I mean, the mushrooms changed color in the arcade version. Okay, so I guess that could maybe be subscribed delay waves, okay. Yeah, we have a controller for this one. I'm actually using my controller for this. Um, that's a freaking looking spider with the shoes. I don't know what it is, but something about the spider with the shoes and the hands just disturbs me. All right, then we have a scoring. All right, centipede head. Okay, so centipede head has more white dots on it. In the centipede body segment. Gotcha. Uh, mushrooms actually give you points. Okay. Oh wait, helpful hints. Shoot away mushrooms in a straight line up the up the screen to create a corridor. The centipede reaches gap will fall straight down the battlefield and be easily picked off. You say that, but it moves hell fast in the arcade version. Maybe it'll work better in this. Since the flea doesn't appear until you have eliminated most of the mushrooms near you, you can set up a shield to prevent this lightning fast pass from striking. So we leave at least five mushrooms on the lower third of the screen. Okay, and after you score 120,000 points, you'll need to leave at least 10 mushrooms. So that stops the flea from appearing. Okay. Shoot centipede heads to create new heads out of the body segment left behind. 
Since headed worth 10 times the point value of the body segment, you'll scare lots of points. Assuming you have good aim. My aim's terrible. Each creature makes a distinctive sound. By becoming familiar with the sound, you will know without looking what is attacking and where it is on the screen. I'm not sure you'll know without looking where it is on the screen, but okay. And then we're back here. Okay. Should we jump in? Let's jump in. Let's do it. Okay, I gotta admit, that looks pretty neat. I like the I like the call screen there. Um, Alright, so we're just gonna jump in here. So game reset. I wanna make sure we have difficulty. Okay, no difficulty set. We can go to... Nope, can't do color black and white. We can just do game reset. Let's do it! Okay. Okay, the spider... How do I move my... There we go, I got you. Okay, don't get hit by the spider. The spider actually leaves a corpse there for a second. Ha! Got you, stupid spider. Oh no, that's not a corpse. That's actually just the score. How? Okay, we're gonna die, right? Yep, we're gonna die now. Bye-bye, Oliver. And then the spider reset the... I guess he reset the uh, things there. And actually, the uh, the mushrooms aren't red. They are totally, um, totally orange now. Oh, that's not fair. That's not fair. Oh, nope. I got eaten again by the freaking... Okay, get rid of the mushrooms. Oh, that's right, the head segments. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. No, I get eaten by the spider. Spider ate my face and all you get is three lives. That's it, that's all you get. Standard play is also all you get, apparently. Let's take care of as many mushrooms as we can. And as many head segments as we can. As many body segments as we can, too. Oh, 900 points. Okay, another 900 points, but this is gonna suck. Oh, no, we got it, we got it. We are now masters of our own domain. Whatever the heck that means. The Seinfeld joke, I think? It's been a long time since I watched Seinfeld. Is it still funny? I think most people regard Seinfeld as not funny anymore because the same jokes have now been used on The Simpsons. Um, that doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but I think that's actually how the logic goes. Oh, right, right, right. Killing the... Spy the you know, rather, killing the centipede makes mushrooms appear. I'm not entirely clear on the mechanic there. But that is what happened. And my aim is so bad. Is it my imagination? Or does the centipede um, seem to be blinking in and out of reality here? Am I wrong? I think I'm I think I'm right. Uh, we're doomed. Yep, we're doomed. Okay, we need to set up a path, man. We need to Okay, so the path. Okay, one other thing, I can't move and shoot at the same time. I've gotta pick one or the other. Um, that probably just an input restriction for the or some kind of technical restriction I should say oh we're doomed bye bye the world okay so yeah you've really got to take out the mushrooms um, and make those not necessarily your top priority definitely a priority because otherwise you're just doomed okay get rid of you guys yep there we go I'm getting better with the aim gotta admit that Oh, the flea has decided that he doesn't like me anymore. Oh, okay. Mr. Flea, you can go ahead and decide that. I don't care. As long as we leave the bottom section mostly free, excuse me, Spider can go past the mushrooms. That is bull and shit combined, sir. Or ma'am, I guess, depending. Ha! Ha! Spider thought he had me. He did not. Oh, okay. That, that, that one totally did. Am I mentioning I'm bad at this game? I thought we were actually going to be able to do this beautifully, and then it turns out not so much. All right, we'll keep going. I mean, what are our options here? Really, I mean, we'd have Centipede that we have to defeat with our magic wand, I guess? I'm not sure how that exactly works with the way the mechanics are. This is more like, this is more like a gun than a magic wand. Although I guess, what is a magic wand except a form of gun, right? Oh man, we are so bad at aiming. There we go, we're about to level two now. When do we get um, more lives? Seems like we should get more lives at a certain score level. I'm not saying what that score level should be. I'm just saying, oh, we took out this fleet. No, we did not take out the fleet there. Okay, so yeah, the the mushrooms being there. I got, oh, come on! I made it to level three and I died. Like a, like a, um, I don't know what I died like. Died like a dog. That a thing. You die like a dog. Oh, yeah, there we go. I almost, almost went full Kool-Aid Man there. Almost full Kool-Aid Man. Oh, Scorpion. 
That was the first time I think we've seen a scorpion. What the actual hell? That's cheating. What the hell was that? Did you see that? The freaking... Yeah, he, he just went down like that, but he went down all the way. Yeah, past the part where the mushrooms actually were. Excuse me, sir. I think you'll realize that's cheating. And once you recount your evil ways, um, we will be glad to um, keep you here. What? The? I can't hit this freaking guy when he blinks out of existence like this. And I realize my commentary is stuttery. But so is the damn game. <laughs> okay? So I'm only following its example here. And you should probably shoot the ends because otherwise each end becomes its own individual centipede, and that's a problem. Because then it just... Yeah, see, that just blinked out of existence there, okay? I couldn't do anything. I mean, I did eventually do something, but that's not the point. The point is that the game is cheating, and I take objection to that, or offense to that, or exception to that. Either one of those, I take, okay? Oh, I almost shot the flea, and then I was moved over, like, two pixels... I would have been able to do it. There we go. We're getting gradually better. Did the flea just not actually leave more than like two mushrooms there for a second? Oh, we are doomed now. Oh, you mentioned doomed. I know doomed. And it tastes like this. Okay, we're good. Oh, you know what? In the original, yeah! You can move up and down, boys. <laughs> oh, that seems like some valuable information I could have used earlier. Oh, and I just ate it. Ate it. I totally remembered that from the arcade version. Oh, what the hell was that? You were moving in a serpentine pattern, and I was not aware that you could move like that. Okay. Take out the flea. We did not take out the flea. We took out the spider, though. Unfortunately, the segments of the centipede are too close to us, and we have to admit defeat. Oh, we actually got to 100,000. Yeah, boys. Take out the flea. Take out the flea. Oh, nope. Nope. Okay, just take out the middle segments and we're totally fine, maybe. Just keep firing. More bullets on the screen. Um, more spiders on the screen. That's actually what happened there. That might be our highest score yet. You know what I miss? You know what I wish this had? Leaderboards. Where the hell are the high scores? And I realize you have, you know, 20k of memory to work with, maybe on a good day. But... I don't know, it just seems like that's such a vital part of the arcade experience. And really, isn't that what we're trying to deliver here, is basically deliver arcade experience in your home? Just bounce over these. Ho, oh, you can't get me, boy. I'm okay, you can totally get me that way. You guys go up again? You do go up again. And I killed the spider at the last possible second. You guys are only going to go up? No, that's not what's going to happen. I can't hit anything. I seriously cannot hit anything. Yep, there we go. They can hit me, though. I think, I think the game's buggy. I mean, I hate to say that because it takes a lot of effort to make a game, and I recognize that. But as these things move, I'm pretty sure my shot should be hitting, but they're not. Now, I could just be bad at the game. I will appreciate that. It could be that I'm trying to spam my shots, and I shouldn't be doing that. And I can appreciate all of that. But I also think that there's points in there here where the centipede is just immune for whatever reason. Now, granted, that right there was probably not a good case because, obviously, I managed to kill him uh, while I was saying that he was immune. But right there, right there, do you see that? Did my shot go right through him, or am I crazy? Do I have to not spam shots? Is that what's going on here? It's trying to teach you not to do it by trying to basically... Oh, there we go. There, That's a good shot right there. I'm um, telling you not to spam shots. You have to more aim. I mean, maybe... Oh, the spider's gonna try to eat my face. There we go. Yeah, maybe. Maybe what they're trying to teach me here is don't. Oh, what the fuck? No way. I'm sorry, but no. The way that that was set up, man. No way. No, no, no. Set that. Get rid of that. That that is a bad corridor. I do not want any part of. No, we're doomed. We're doomed. I can't. I can't think. No, no, no. I was stuck there. There's no way that was gonna happen. Oh, man. Okay, so sometimes the mushrooms will just screw you. Good to know. I mean, I, I don't think have we ever hit one of the freaking scorpions. Did we just hit the scorpion there? I think we missed it, right? Also, I can't seem to hit anything. Oh, nope. Okay. Dodge around it. Unfortunately. Oh, there we go. 
I can't believe that worked. I can't believe that worked. We're gonna eat it. Yep, I thought so. I was trying to dodge underneath the spider. It totally didn't work. Okay, that's our highest score yet. But really, I would appreciate, you know, there's children's version. Okay, I gotta try this. What the hell is children's version? I don't notice anything too terribly different. I mean, there's a, there's a cute little symbol down at the bottom, but I don't remember seeing that before. Do you not actually die in this version? You just, um... I don't know. It seemed like you would still have to die in this version. Oh, come on. I can't have freaking hit this guy. There we go. Saying that I can't seem to hit them is actually a good way to actually hit them. There we go. What makes this a children's version? I would think... Are they moving slower? Is that what makes this a children's version? I mean, I still can't aim for crap, so, you know, there's that. But I think they might be moving slower. I could be wrong. Um, I have no idea what makes this the children's version. Maybe the coloration? The coloration was already changing every time anyway, so I'm not exactly sure how to compare. I we actually hit the scorpion that time. And the flea. And not the spider, though. Okay, the spider went away. Um, all right. I mean, oh, did we actually hit the flea there? Yeah, they are moving slower. That's got to be what it is. It's also easier to score here, I guess. Oh, uh, hell no. Hell no, don't do it. Don't do it. I know you want to come down here, but it's a bad plan. It's a bad plan. Also, flea, I do not appreciate that move. How did... Okay, does the spider not kill you in the children's version? Because that seems a little cheaty. Um... Maybe it doesn't? It's got to, right? It doesn't. It doesn't hurt you. Okay, so basically... Basically, there's no way to lose. How do you lose? How... What? <laughs> I don't understand. I don't understand. How do you lose? Okay, let's let one of the pieces come down and touch us. Maybe that's how we lose? But yeah, the spider, we're immune. So it's gotta be, yeah, there we go, okay. So one of the, um, one of the centipede segments can kill you, but nothing else can. I'm pretty sure the fleas hit us, and we didn't die, and I didn't notice because, you know, I'm unobservant, that happens. Also, I'm a bad shot. Yep, bad shot, all around. Okay, there we go, just go above it. Pow, no? I said pow, excuse me. When I say pow, that means you die. Also, apparently the segments just keep respawning. That's very helpful, I'm sure. There we go. No, no, okay, we just die then. Just new head segments just appear for no good reason. Okay, so that's the children version. Interesting. I'm wondering what the thought process was there. We need a way for children to have fun with this game. Was that the thought process there? Because it seems odd. It would seem like, well, you know, it's pretty much a children's game by... I mean, it's not really a children's game, but... Kind of? Get rid of these segments. Oh, what the actual hell? Don't do that to me. Don't do that to me. That's just mean. Um, Alright, so we can take care of the poison parts. The problem is that you get the the centipede doing that up-down move. And that'll just screw you. Like, for, like, what the hell is that? He just keeps going. We got it. Yeah, see, he just keeps going down even though he's not being stopped by any mushrooms. Something's funky there. So get rid of that segment, because that's annoying. Okay, now we're down to one segment. Yeah, then we can just rapid fire to end it. What the actual hell, though? He keeps doing that. I think the game's bugged. <laughs> I mean, I'm seriously... Oh, what the hell, man? It's like going too slow for me to wrap my brain around. Is that what's going on here? Is that th yeah, see, that's just that's just unfair. Just patently unfair. Just come down here and destroy me, why don't you? I mean, yeah, okay, it's our highest score ever, but also I think that's kind of not relevant because children's mode, we can't die in this mode, basically. Oh, unless the scorpion, or not the scorpion, the, the centipede just comes down and tries to eat our face immediately. What the hell's causing that? Can we destroy those mushrooms before they... Oh, maybe not. Okay, never mind. Spider's nice enough to reform everything, but... Yeah, I think that's causing a problem. Okay, we killed the scorpion. 
And we got 300,000? No, 30,000. Okay. Yeah, that's right, because then the fleet comes at... Well, wait a minute. It says we're supposed to be... I don't know, five in a certain section of the screen, huh? It's supposed to be like the lower left or something like that. Okay, what the heck? Why does the centipede do that? There are no mushrooms in its way. I think something's definitely buggy with the code where it's, it gets into that mode where it's going back and forth and in rapid succession and then it just gets stuck. It doesn't know what to do. I don't know. Not wild about this. Let's see what other modes there are. There might just be standard in children's. Thank you. I was actually able to kill him that time. Um, as soon as we die, which, you know, I think is how it's this is children's mode. We might not actually. Okay, probably just randomly firing. Randomly firing actually seems to be getting the job done. That's ridiculous. I was trying to aim there, and that actually backfired. Or it didn't actually hit anything. I guess it didn't actually backfire. Backfire would be if the shot actually hit me, which would be hilarious. Could you imagine if the shots actually, you know, re were able to rebound on you? Like the centipede had some kind of power, like he glowed blue with a shield or something as a refractory shield, bounced back and tried to hit you? That'd be hilarious. There we go. Rapid fire works. Oh, what the heck? Centipede just gets a free trip downstairs, huh? That doesn't seem entirely fair. I mean, I can slingshot you all I want, but I think this is where we die. Yep, yep, this is where we go. I'm not gonna go without a fight, though. Oh, I'm totally gonna die here, though. Okay. One more shot? I get one more shot. Okay. Is the centipede gonna get a free ride down? Maybe? I mean, I can take out the mushrooms as they spawn, assuming I can stay in one place, and that's the real trick. Oh no, here we go. We're dead again. Um, gotta be careful here. Okay, we're good. We're good. But unfortunately, more heads are gonna spawn until they eventually catch me off guard. That is gonna happen. Um, just because a lot of small numbers, large numbers, one of those, um, one of the centipedes pieces is just stuck and generating more heads I don't know what the hell was up with that that was weird all right game select zero zero mode oh that's standard play okay oh, okay so the little face basically indicates child mode and then that's not child mode all right all right one more game what the hell Let's see if we can try to beat our score on normal mode here so we need to keep like five segments in the bottom here that would have recommended? I forget. Uh, what we'll go to the tips? You don't remember them? That's a good point. How oh, bad? I am a bad shot. Okay, dodge. Just stay above. We're fine. Nope, not fine. Not fine. Oh, come on. The extra heads is totally cheating. Um, now. Nope, nope, nope. But I knew it was a risk. I knew it was. And I did it anyway. Yeah, the arcade version at least shows damage to the um, to the mushrooms, so it makes sense that they don't go away with one hit. These take, what, three hits? I think that was three hits. One, two, oh, no, that was, yeah, it is three hits per mushroom. They don't show damage, though. So it makes it a little arbitrary. Why do these mushrooms take three hits to take down? I mean, I guess once you know the rules, it doesn't seem that arbitrary. It seems a little arbitrary. I do like the roundness of the centipede, though. I think they did a good job with the tech they had. Um, obviously not as cool as the... Did we just magically avoid the spider there? We're not in children's mode, right? Um, yeah, I mean, they did the best job they could with the tech they had. Um, maybe not as robust as the, as the arcade version, but still decent. It seems a little bugged, but I think that's a problem with the... Um, I'll just get eaten by the spider. Uh, problem with the format, right? I mean, we only have 24K or whatever the limitation was. We'll go ahead and do one more game. It kind of makes sense that you'd have... You'd have some bugs that you just wouldn't be able to take out. You know, I could fix this bug, or I could make it fit in the cartridge. I can't do both. Somehow that worked. How did that work? Uh, this is going to be the end of us, though. Oh, unless I time it perfectly... That's also a thing that could happen. All right, I probably took out too many mushrooms there, so it's complaining. Yep. All right, little flea. So, the thing is, 
why would the elves care if it take if the flea gives you more mushrooms? Are they poisonous mushrooms? No, they're not poisonous unless the scorpion touches them. Because reasons. Um, so why is it a bad thing that the flea shows up? Why would you want to take out the flea? Well, I mean, in this case, the mushrooms are in the way of you destroying the evil centipede. Um, why is it evil? I don't remember. Something, something, story, magic elves. Um, <laughs> but yeah, why would the... I mean, the mushrooms are your food, right? Are they your food source if you're a magic elf? I don't know. Maybe you got magic elves to eat something else. Maybe they only eat magic beans. I have no idea. I would expect, and I know this is expecting a lot for a game made on, you know, 16 bits or whatever, but I would expect the levels to get progressively harder as we go. We actually got another life there. So we got another life at 10,000. That's what the noise signifies. All right. Good to know. All right, you know what? I actually think this is one of the few games where I think children's version actually makes a little bit more sense. Um, and I know that's weird. I mean, maybe not more sense. Maybe that's not the word I'm looking for. Oh, we're so doomed here. Um, yep, we're doomed. Doom, 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 doom. Yeah, there we go. I knew we were doomed. Um, I guess more sense isn't quite right, but I mean, the spider not being able to kill you does make the game a lot easier. But I actually appreciate that because, you know, bad. But I suppose if you actually want the challenge and the arcade experience, you're not going to settle for that. Okay, but this, where the centipede can just go down to you immediately, is bullshit. Alright, is that going to do it? I think that's going to do it. Alright, thank you guys for watching. This has been... Um, so I can get out. Can I get out, please? Um, I, oh, then I need to go to the power. Okay. All right. This has been Atari Vault. This is Centipede. I'm PC Universe. You're PC Universe 2, and I'll see you guys next time.